YouTube, what's going on? We're back with another Throne and Liberty video. In this video, I want to go ahead and go over a couple bugs that have been going on in the game the past couple of days. Now, the first bug that I want to go over is a very huge game breaking bug. In my opinion, it kind of breaks arena right now to where you don't even need a healer. If you don't have insane burst damage, you're actually unkillable and so many more problems with this bug. It, you can use it in conflicts to heal over and over again. You can use it in the tax delivery event that's going to happen tomorrow. And I've already seen a bunch of people abusing this bug and also this bug doesn't even feel like a bug because it's something that you can do pretty easily in the game. It's not difficult to do at all. Now, what am I talking about right here? I'm talking about this, the little orc morph right here. If we use the little orc morph, what this does is it heals you about 5%. Now, it sounds like it's not a big deal, right? Just a small little heal. As you saw, it actually damaged me because my HP is too high. But for those of you who are like, crossbow daggers or low HP characters, this is an insane way for you guys to keep yourself topped off. You can actually be in a conflict boss where you are formally by yourself in a party with no healer and you'll get poked out and then you'll have to find a way to heal yourself, which before you would either heal yourself through a little potion, sit there for a long time. Maybe you would slowly heal with the orc if you knew that method. Now, unfortunately, you don't even need a healer. You could go in there, do your little burst damage, run out there, and then heal yourself back instantly. No healer needed. It kind of makes the conflict bosses really broken. You can also do this in arena to where you just go in there, burst your opponent, and then run back to the safety and then heal back to full HP. Now, why, why is this a big deal and what is the difference than before? Well, let me go ahead and show you real quick. Now, we're going to have to go ahead and take some damage, obviously. So let's go ahead and try to take a little bit of fall damage right here. Hopefully we don't die right here. Now watch my HP right here. I'm just going to full heal in literally one second. That's all you do right there. You just spam the morph. As you see, it's very <laughs> ridiculous. Now, I can also do it while I'm in combat. So if I'm over here, like if I'm a tank even and my HP is starting to get low, it's going to be almost impossible for you to die if you just keep healing and they don't have a ton of burst damage. Now watch, I'm going to start getting damaged again. My HP is going to start getting low and then I'm just going to go ahead and keep keep healing. Nothing, nothing these guys can do. I'm just going to run away and keep healing. And then I can keep attacking at the same time as my heal. So if you can get really good at it, you could literally fight while you are healing. And it's just going to be really dumb. If you are if you just set it up in your hotbars, that's all you got to do. You just got to keep running and healing. You see, I almost died there. Nope, I'm not going to die. I'm just going to run and heal. No big deal. Back to full HP. And that's the problem. You could just keep running and healing. As you saw, yes, you can die if they burst you hard enough. But you saw how fast I healed myself. I'm not a healer. Do you see a heal on my bar? There is no heals at all. But... You just go ahead and spam this orc and you full heal in literally one second. Now, previously, the way that worked was you would slowly heal over time. Like you would use it like this. It would go heal and then you would stop and then you would heal and then you would stop. Now, look at how fast you can go. You can literally spam it. So that's a huge, huge problem. And that's something that needs to be fixed right now. Again, I don't advocate for abusing this bug. I am only showing this bug on little PVE enemies. I'm not going to be doing this in PVP. It's pretty broken. And I just wanted to get awareness for this bug. Again, try not to tell anybody to do this bug. Who knows? You might get your friends banned. So please don't tell anyone to do this bug. Now, that's all that I wanted to talk about for this one. Now I wanted to go ahead and go over the loot bug that a lot of people have been talking about in the Queen Peace event that was happening today. Now, the other thing I wanted to go over real quick was the Queen Belendir bug that a lot of people are saying happened. Now, on my server, it didn't happen, and I think on multiple servers, it probably didn't happen. But let's go ahead and show that loot did it indeed drop on my server. My server is the North American Eastern server, so I believe, at least on the North American Eastern servers, loot did drop. As you can see right here, we got the staff, we have a universal band of power, a second band of power, and we also have a hood somewhere over here, I believe. There, It was right there. There's the hood. The hood was grabbed right here, Ascendant Guardian hood. So as you saw, we did get loot to drop in our server. However, on the other servers, it might not have actually dropped. So let me know down in the comments below 
did you guys have your loot drop or did you not have your loot drop? What I think a lot of people are misunderstanding is that when you see someone grab the loot, watch someone will grab the queen staff in a moment right there. They grabbed the staff. There was no message in the chat box. So previously when somebody would grab a weapon from the boss, it would say that the loot was grabbed, say who grabbed it and give it a big announcement. Right now, for whatever reason, it's not doing that. So that might be another bug, or apparently that might be a setting in the systems. I've tried looking through the settings to see where that was. I couldn't find that. As you can see right here, there's also the throwers right here. So it actually dropped another weapon. So loot definitely was dropping at least on my server. However, I don't want to speak for all the other servers. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys are 100% sure that there was no loot dropping from your server. And that's pretty much all I wanted to go over in today's video, guys. Now, there's a couple other things that I've been hearing people complain about that I personally do not have enough information to make too much of a comment on. But since we're going over all the bugs in this patch, this, this patch had so many bugs, guys. For those of you who missed out on the confidential do not see part, I don't even know how they missed that. That was a big bug. They also have the endurance that may or may not be bugged. And they have the inter-server events that also might either be bugged or overtuned to be designed for our tier two gear and tier two weapons, which means the bosses might have a little too much HP. Now I'd missed out on the inter-server events and I'm not a tank who, so I have no endurance built at all anyways. So I really can't test either of those things out. And I never tested out how endurance debuffed before. So I can't really test that now and say, yeah, that was for sure not the same. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about those two things. Apparently the endurance bug is that you guys are getting debuffed more than you usually will. So tanks are dying a lot faster than they used to be. So my tank players who watch my videos, let me know, do you guys feel like endurance is bugged currently? Let me know in a comment down below. And on a brighter side note, Let's go ahead and talk about the tier two dungeons for just a moment as well. I personally found the dungeons to be pretty difficult at first, but once you ran them a few times, they weren't too bad. Now let's go ahead and rank what I think are the hardest dungeons and the easiest dungeons. And I'll just get, go ahead and tell you a small little two second guide on each one, right? So the Carmen Rage Island by far, in my opinion, is the hardest of the four bosses. Now, with this one, the main thing that you're going to look over for on this boss is a little red orb over your head when he teleports you away. Just keep an eye on that and keep an eye on the little three pronged AOE ground smash attack. After he does that, he might charge at you. Those those are the things that I noticed for that fight. The Island of Terror, I would mark as the second hardest of the four boss fights. This one is basically the same almost as the Tyrant's Isle boss fight, just everything's tuned up to be a lot faster. So I thought this one was probably the most fun one, as well as the Carmen Rage Island, because those were the hardest ones. Now we go on to the two easiest ones, the Void Waste one. This one is entirely on the tank. The tank does everything in this fight right here. The only thing that you have to do is block the beams and gather up when you get a yellow orb over your head for max for full heals. And then the tank's got to focus and move the boss into those little yellow AOEs. This isn't really a guide, but I just wanted to go over these real quick. And then we also have the Valley of Slaughter, which by far is the easiest boss fight and honestly easier than Butcher's Canyon, because in Butcher's Canyon, to this day, I still die on that sometimes because I mess up a jump over here. They got rid of that problem, so you don't need to worry about doing that jump anymore, thankfully. So this one is the easiest one. So Carmen Rage, in my opinion, is the hardest, then Island, then Voids, then Valley of Slaughter. Let me know what you guys think. Were these dungeons fun for you guys? I just wanted to try to end this on a slightly higher note, something a little bit positive, right? After talking about all these negative bugs. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys are not too affected by these bugs. Again, don't abuse that orc bug. Just know that that's a thing and try to take a break from arena. And hopefully you guys get that fixed devs by the next siege, please. And that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.